So this special dialysis free protocol, stage 5 kidney disease patients already in dialysis were able to avoid dialysis for up to 10 months. And those in stage 3 and 4 were able to lower creatinine by 12.4%. Catherine here, in this study published on a prestigious paper, researchers and doctors were able to assist end stage renal disease patients in greatly delaying or even completely avoiding dialysis. Yes, what they were able to prove with this study is amazing, and today we are going to see how you can benefit from these findings. What they are using is a combination of three treatments a low protein diet, a prescription of prebiotics, and a special uremic toxin adsorbent. What they were able to achieve with the dialysis free protocol that we are going to examine in today's video was beyond any expectation. Some patients were able to be dialysis free for months, and some of them who were waiting for a transplant were able to never undergo dialysis at all. Now, the interesting part, the findings of this study can be applied to patients in all the stages of kidney disease, not just to those in stage 5. Because it's clear that what they did in this study, removing the uremic toxins in the intestines instead of letting them reach the kidneys, works in all the stages. And maybe if you are in stage 3 or 4 of CKD, you will be able to delay the dialysis for decades after watching this video. So today, I want to share with you how to apply the life-saving findings of the dialysis-free protocol to all the stages of chronic kidney disease. And please remember that this video is for informational purposes only. Consult your doctor for medical advice before trying any new remedy or therapy. Okay, let's start. Let's take a look at what they did in this study to reduce or eliminate the nitrogenous waste. Now guys, reducing the nitrogenous waste is key to slow down or stop kidney disease progression. All of these substances are responsible of the symptoms of kidney disease and are produced from protein metabolism. The very first way they found out to get rid of these dangerous toxins is using prebiotics to improve gut health. Some good news! This is something every single kidney disease patient can do to protect their kidneys. So, what are prebiotics and why do you need them to avoid dialysis? According to studies, prebiotics are extremely powerful when it comes to lowering creatinine levels in all the stages. They can effectively improve probiotic count in the gut. Probiotics are the good bacteria that live in the gut and that can basically consume uremic toxins, protecting the kidneys. Having a balanced gut flora can consistently help with getting rid of what the kidneys can't remove. It will also greatly reduce inflammation in the body and according to science, it will lower your creatinine levels. When it comes to improving gut health, many people result to taking probiotic pills and many studies support the health benefits of probiotics both from the diet and supplements for people with kidney problems. But what they used in this study is different. They used a prebiotic called lactulose. Lactulose 30 milliliters or 20 grams three times per day in order to change the gastrointestinal microflora to help bacteria and reduction of nitrogenous waste. Lactulose is a synthetic sugar used to treat constipation. It is broken down in the colon into products that remove uremic toxins and that lower creatinine. And as I was saying, these turn out to be key to protect kidney function in these patients. Another benefit, it is proven to increase improved bifidobacteria and lactobacilli counts in those with CKD in all the stages. The result is a huge drop in creatinine levels.
And while this is really helpful, it's worth noticing that lactulose is a prescription medication, at least in some countries. The alternative, which I always recommend, is to add more prebiotic rich foods to the diet. Some of the best prebiotic foods for kidney health include flax and chia seeds, berries, asparagus, garlic, and more. Guys, I'll talk about some of the best foods to improve gut health in my video up here. Watch it now to know more. Now, to avoid dialysis, these patients needed two things. First, to get rid of nitrogenous waste with prebiotics and a powerful natural remedy that we will see next. Second, to lower the intake of what creates nitrogenous waste. So the next step here is to reduce protein intake using a low protein diet. Guys, saying that this step is key in all the stages of CKD to slow down the progression of the disease is an understatement. I'll be very clear on this. If you want to lower your creatinine levels, if you want your kidney to be protected, the first thing you should do is limiting your protein intake. The low protein diet or LPD treatment has been used on thousands of CKD patients and science has pretty solid data on it. Modern guidelines consider this diet the cornerstone of the treatment for kidney disease because it positively impacts on the signs and symptoms of the uremic syndrome, on the renal and cardiovascular risk factors related to uremia, and on the progression of renal disease. In two words, it works. And it's especially important for patients in the advanced stages of the disease. Now, my advice here is to have your dietitian plan a diet that you should know and follow to the letter. Know your allot protein amount and strive to eat that amount each day. As we have seen, limiting protein helps reduce waste buildup in the blood. It slows down kidney disease and controls the symptoms. However, a low protein diet coupled with loss of appetite also puts you at high risk for malnutrition. You absolutely don't want to risk malnutrition as it will be extremely harmful for you. For those in stage 5 in particular, it's really important to eat enough calories to maintain the current body weight. When removing protein, there are just two micronutrients left that can be added not to lose too much weight. Fats preferably mostly polyunsaturated fat. These include vegetable oils such as olive oil, coconut oil but also nuts and seeds such as flax seed or chia seeds and also carbohydrates. While for some patients too much calories from carbs may be dangerous, those in the advanced stages needed more carbs to avoid malnutrition and while adding more fruit, grains, bread, rice, pasta, and so on is easy for those without diabetes. Patients in stage 5 CKD that also need to control diabetes may have hard times adding more carbs to their diet. What to do then? Watch my video about the best carb sources for people with diabetes and CKD. It's up here if you want to watch it and I've also linked it down in the description. Here, you will be able to find all those foods that are low in phosphorus and potassium but rich in carbohydrates without being high on the glycemic scale. Now, coupling prebiotics to help the gut get rid of uremic toxins with a low protein diet is a proven strategy that definitely helps in all the stages of kidney disease. It works because the low protein diet greatly reduces the amount of toxins the kidney have to process, while the prebiotics make sure that the gut gets rid of most of these toxins. And to be able to completely avoid dialysis in stage 5, there is just one step that is missing. This, you can see here, is a natural remedy that people use every day in small dosages against bloating, gas, diarrhea, and also to get their teeth whiter. Emergency room doctors, on the other hand, use it to treat overdoses and poisoning. This is possible thanks to the amazing adsorbent properties this remedy offers. When taken in therapeutic doses, it can be used as a form of intestinal dialysis. I am talking about activated charcoal. Activated charcoal is a powerful detoxifier. 
In this study, it was the key to achieve freedom from dialysis. Researchers believe that activated charcoal is especially effective at removing toxins derived from urea, uremic toxins, and phosphorus. Uremia, excess of uremic toxins in particular, is the cause of most symptoms associated with stage 4 and 5 of kidney disease, and it's basically the reason why people end up in dialysis. And activated charcoal definitely works against symptoms of CKD at the point that it was also used in stage 3 and 4 patients to slow down the progression of the disease. But there is one thing that you absolutely need to know before taking activated charcoal. I've explained this in detail in my video up here. Watch it now to know more and this is all for today. Thank you for watching.